Hey, so this is the 3D printer that I will be using to build that DIY laptop. I needed one that was a lot bigger than the first one I bought. This is the build plate from the original, just to give you a sense of scale. The new one's a lot bigger, uh, more than big enough. I just need to finish it off. There's still the enclosure and some other parts and calibration to go. And then this will be good to go. Anyway, it's high time that I give you some more details on that 3D print, um, sorry, DIY laptop. So the goal is to design a laptop kit built around a mini ITX motherboard that will allow you to build your own laptop from whatever parts you choose within the power limits of a portable system, of course. Uh, it's something I've always wanted to do. You'll be able to build it kind of the same way that you'd build a desktop PC. Who is this for? Well, I can think of two people, kinds of people. So the first, are, well, the makers, the people who like creating stuff, building their own things, uh, kind of like me. Uh, the other group would be Amigo as four fans who want to have a portable Amigo as four machine. So we're calling that Porsche, which stands for Portable Tabor Incorporating Amiga One. Uh, hands down, this is going to be the fastest path to a true Amigos laptop. So we're talking about a machine that runs Amigos 4 natively and has full 3D acceleration and everything. What will it look like? Well, that's still to be determined. Um, obviously, it's going to have machine computer in the base with keyboard and a flip up screen, you know, laptop style. Uh, I'm using a 14 inch LCD panel because that roughly matches the 2D area I expect I'll need to fit all the components in. I've done some quick tests, uh, layout tests to determine that. Height wise, well, apart from that it'll be fat, that's also yet to be determined. What's the battery life like? Well, I have, I've got a 93 watt hour battery pack which is within the 100 watt hours that airlines will allow you to take on the plane um, and with the table system I tried maxing out you know putting it under as heavy load as I could and measured 28 watts so even when the laptop's doing something battery life is measured in hours what about Wi-Fi well I will initially be using this thing it's a little miniature Wi-Fi router that also works in client mode. So you just plug it into Ethernet and uh, enter in your Wi-Fi details and you're good to go. I'll probably keep it external just to keep the size of the laptop smaller. Um, but the advantage is no drivers are necessary. Now, ultimately, I would like to use a USB Wi-Fi stick because then you can discreetly put that inside the enclosure, inside the laptop case. Um, which is fine if you've got a PC motherboard in there, but obviously if you've got well, building an Amiga OS machine, which is what I would like to do, that someone has to write drivers. Now, if you're interested in this project, because obviously it's going to take time before I finish it, then I suggest you visit the website that's on screen right now, um, or use the QR code and sign up to the mailing list, enter your email address, and that'll keep you informed and you'll get some exclusive insider information as well.